Hey you guys, what's up? It's Jack and um, this video is actually a Q&A video for those of you guys who have stuck with this channel for a little while now. You guys know that I do my Q&A videos in a bathtub and I'm in a bathroom right now, right next to a bathtub. I filmed the whole Q&A video. I was looking at all your guys' questions on Twitter. I answered so many of your questions. I took out the little memory card in this camera. I imported like fucking 40 minutes of footage, like 40 minutes. When I was looking at the footage, the whole damn thing was out of focus. And I don't mean it was like kind of out of focus. I mean, you couldn't see the flaws on my face. That's how out of focus the camera was. And as you can see, Daddy isn't lying. He has all his wet clothing. I was wearing like my Boy London white tank top. I was wearing, oh, those are white shorts. I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that like a sheet? So I'm not lying to you guys. I filmed the damn video. There was water in the bathtub and everything. And you know what? I'm not trying to waste any more water because California is in a drought last time I checked. And although I am across the country, I'm doing my part. Oh, so I'm gonna redo the Q&A, but the thing is, I am not going to answer the same questions. I'm gonna scroll further down. I'm gonna answer questions that I hadn't answered in the last Q&A video, so I apologize if I don't get to your question. I may have answered it, but that footage... So question number one comes from Nick of the Perverse. How many guys have you slept with? And right off the bat, that's a relatively... That's a good, interesting question. Oh, you know what this is? This is from... This is from May 20th, 2015. So like, I'm way far back in this hashtag. To answer your question, Nick, I've only slept with one person because I am not a slut. No, I'm just kidding. The thing is like, sleep with as many people as you want, but I'm very weird. I need to be in a relationship. It's just the way I am. Matt Q asks, have you ever broken somebody's heart or rejected them? I don't really think I've broken somebody's heart. Sorry, I'm just looking to see if this is in focus and making sure I'm not going through that. I'm not having the same mistake as last time. But I don't think I've ever really broke somebody's heart all that bad. And if I did, sorry, but I completely understand why your heart was broken over me. <laughs> Battery at 1% asked if you could be a Mean Girls character, what would you be and why? Okay, I would probably be at this point in my life, I would be like the mom who's like, you kids keep me young or you girls keep me young or whatever she says. And I would be that because I feel like I am hanging on to my youth by like a fucking thread. I see all you guys like in high school and college and parties and I like, I know I'm 22, but I'm like dead practically. Like I'm the only thing I have left to look forward to. Like the next big milestone in my life is my funeral. If you guys would invite me to hang out with you guys, I would be like, so what are the kids doing these days? What are they listening to? Nathan asks, if your house was on fire and you could only grab three things, what would they be? Um, who? You know, the good answer would be saying like, oh, my brother, my mom, my dad, make sure they get out safe. But you know what? They have fucking legs. My Prince Charming doll, my <laughs> Prince Philip doll, my Prince Eric doll, you know? Right there, that was an easy question. Nintendo fan asked, my boyfriend keeps putting himself down, but I keep telling him he's amazing and my prince, what should I do? P.S. I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you. And yeah, treat him like he's your prince. And he should also treat you like you're his prince too. But seriously, if he keeps putting himself down, make him compliment himself. And every single time he does compliment himself, Give him a kiss. And if he keeps putting himself down, fucking tape his mouth shut and get a fucking whip and 50 shades of gray, the lack of confidence out of him. Chris asks, what do you think your life would be like if you were no longer a YouTuber? I honestly would die. I would wither away and die. Like if I didn't have a, um, a job and I wasn't a YouTuber and I wasn't occupying myself by like entertaining you guys, I don't know. I would be like, a street performer or something. I don't even know, I have no talent. Thank you guys for letting me do this. I really appreciate it. I can't thank you guys enough. Hunter asks, who is someone that you utterly despise? Oh, uh, the thing is, I try not to hate on people. I try not to hate people. I try to be like positive and not really negative. But okay, there is this one fucking bitch. I don't even know her name. It's like Violetta, Violetta. The thing is, when people are in relationships, like I respect that. And I'm actually in a new relationship that I haven't really talked to you guys a lot about. She doesn't respect it and it's infuriating to me. Like she's always had a crush on my boyfriend, I guess, or something like that. But she's always up his ass. She's always trying to get with him. She goes. Um, to where he's going and she like takes pictures with him and she puts them on her social media like these are the pictures They're so disgusting. I'm so sick of seeing them truthfully Like are you that desperate that you have to tell the whole world that you're dating Ansel Elgort? Come on now Like it's time to grow up. It's time to move on. You're not dating him. Stop telling people that Caliente Chinito asks where will your engagement pictures be taken and what's the honeymoon destination with future husband Ansel Elgort? Okay, Ansel likes to pretend that he like loves action movies and stuff like that, but the truth is 
when me and him are like alone or watching Netflix, it's just like a Netflix and chill night with some popcorn. He really likes to watch Titanic, so that's kind of like our go-to movie. So like, it's just like a cute little surprise that I always wanted to plan for him, that we do like our wedding photos. Like I pay somebody to rise the Titanic out of the Atlantic Ocean, and we'll take our photos there. I can dress up like Jack, he can dress up, dress up like, I don't know, Rose. Hazaba Marjoram asks, can you lick your nipple? Let's, let's see if I can lick my nipple. I have a doubt that I can, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna have to like bunch it up. Oh look, you can see kind of my deodorant a little bit because it's white. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna happen. I also need to shave my nipples. Yeah, it isn't happening. Aria Miller asks, what are your guilty pleasures? Oh. Dance Moms, Bad Girls Club. Okay, I'm starting to get into like UFC fighting. Oh, is it called UFC fighting? I don't even know if that's what it, if that's what it's called. I was staying in Washington DC last weekend and I was of course the only one awake because all my friends fell asleep. And I was watching um, like really late night mixed martial arts and it was so exciting and exhilarating. Yeah, I'll watch people fight. Current log and home screensaver. Oh God. Okay, this is embarrassing to admit. I'll, I'll just show you guys. Okay, here we go. It's not Brent Rivera or anything like that. Okay, I didn't realize he was 17 until somebody Wikipedia'd it for me, but you guys know, I just tweeted the other day about how I had a dream about him. We weren't actually having sex. I feel like what we were doing would still be illegal. We were just kind of hooking up a little bit in the Disney store, and now I feel uncomfortable because he's 17 because, uh, that would never happen in real life, I promise. Well. I'll never say never. Are you gonna start using Snapchat now that Ansel Elgord has one? Okay, I found out, I was kind of upset with him because he didn't tell me that he was on Snapchat. I had to find out through other people and it's never cool to find out something about your boyfriend through the media. But the thing is like, I forgive him when I see his Snapchats. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's Last picture that I took on my phone, let's look. Um, well, it's my Instagram picture that I took on my phone before filming this video. You guys should all go follow me on Instagram at jmerido. And what's the picture before that? Oh, okay, I screenshotted this picture of Ansel Elgort dressed like an angel. He is literally an angel that walks amongst us. And last but not least, <laughs> would I ever have a threesome? I don't think... Oh fuck, my battery's dying. I think the answer is no, and do you know why? I'm a jealous bitch, and I get reve I wanna get revenge on people who get more attention than me. I feel like I'd kill them if they were getting more attention than me in that moment, because I would go crazy. I would literally kill them and like rub their blood all over me and laugh. Also, like, I cannot multitask. Like, that was <laughs> very clear by um, how in high school I could never do my homework in study hall when there was attractive guys in the room with me, because I'd just be like, Anyway, that's all for this Q&A video, guys. <laughs> I don't have any funny way of ending this video. Last, um, when I made the last Q&A video, I was in the bathtub for a really long time and my butt got like pruny from being in the water for so long. So like that was my end thing. I was like, guys, I need to get out of the bathtub because my butt's pruning. But I don't know. Thank you guys so much for submitting questions. I'm sorry this wasn't actually in the bathtub this time, but maybe next time my camera won't be an asshole and go out of focus when I make a Q&A video. But comment below with anything you're wondering and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. We're gonna play dodgeball today. <laughs> the only good thing that came out of gym class is the jocks actually, it was the only time they paid attention to me in my life because they were trying to whip dodgeballs at me. I was always the last person.